body condition scoring of beef cows. So essentially, what is a body condition score of a cow? Well, it's just an indicator of stored energy reserves, meaning it's how much fat cover does that cow have, and to a lesser extent, how much protein is that cow carrying, okay? To a little, to, to a much lesser extent. So really, it's an indicator of management and how that cow is performing in the given environment that she's living in. And we can evaluate cows very quickly and out at pasture using the body condition score uh, system. Okay, so why is it important? All right, there is a close relationship between body condition score at calving in the first 90 days after calving, meaning if she's in good body condition score at calving, we have more reproductive success and conception rates, and that overall calf immune system, that calf vitality is, is much better in a body condition, in a cow that has a high body condition score uh, versus a low body condition score. Okay, and really, again, body condition score is a balance between recent nutrient supply and the nutrient requirement that that cow has. Okay, it's also an indication of, of management, how we're managing that cow. Are we man, managing our, our pastures well? Are we supplementing? Do we have a supplementation program? Herd health, time of calving. Um, you know, it's an overall indicator of, of how well of managers are we. Okay. And then, is that cow fit for the environment? Does she have the genetics and the environment um, that she is? Or are we modifying that environment um, quite a bit to be able to get her body condition score to where we want that body con condition score to be prior to calving? So the system, it's, it's the, the body condition scoring system is on a one to 10 scale excuse me, one to nine scale, with one and two being very thin, uh, emaciated or extremely thin, and then an, an eight or nine body condition score cow uh, would be extremely fat or obese, okay? We won't see very many of, of a body condition score one or two, and we won't see very many cows in a body condition score of eight or nine. Ninety-five percent of the cows uh, that we will encounter will be either a three through a seven, okay? We'll be thin to fleshier, many of us would call those cows fat, all right? So, and there's also between one body condition score to the next, say we go from a body condition score five on a cow to a body condition score six on a cow, approximately about 80 pounds difference between those two body condition scores. Meaning, if we go up a body condition score, that cow would gain about 80 pounds, and typically if we go down a body condition score, that cow uh, would typically lose about 80 pounds. So how are we going to uh, evaluate this uh, on one individual animal? Okay, so mainly uh, we're going to start by looking through the vertebrae, okay, through the th thoracic and lumbar vertebrae. We're going to see, are, are these very visible? Can we see these, these vertebrae on that particular animal? Okay, we're going to look at the ribs right here. Are those ribs visible? How visible, how defined are those ribs will be an indicator of body condition score. We're also going to look at the hip through the hooks and the pins, okay, and we're also going to look through the tail head for the transverse processes of the lumbar vertebrae, how they are defined. Do we have a lot of fat buildup through that area? Okay. So let's take a look. This, this is a, a better example of, of what we're talking about. Just to give, give it away, I'll, I'll give you the answers here. The, the particular cow on top is in a body condition score of, of what we would call a seven, a very uh, fleshier or fat cow. The cow on the bottom would be a body condition score of three, okay? And uh, how do we know that? Why would we, why would we assign those body condition scores to those two particular cows, okay? Well, let's look first at the vertebrae the thoracic vertebrae. As we come through here, you can see this vertebrae is very well defined on this, this uh, lower body condition score cow. Okay, very well defined. Um, you can see it. We'll have a better picture in a slide coming up, but you'll be able to see that very easily versus on this particular animal, it's very flat across the top. You could probably put your coffee cup on, uh, on that cow and, and it would stay very easily uh, flat like a, like a tabletop. Okay. 
So also, we want to look at the ribs, this fatter cow, and the body condition score 7. Really, no defined ribs. Can't see any ribs really in this particular picture at all. Okay, And again, it's hard to see, and you'll be able to see it more in a future slide. But this particular cow has well-defined ribs that you can see right in, in this area here. Okay, are, are another two differences. The lumbar vertebrae, again, much like uh, like like the rest of the spinal column, is is uh, you you can see those vertebrae very defined in this lower body condition cow versus the the fatter cow up here through the top. Okay, and as we continue to look through the the hip and the hooks and the pins. You can see there there is fat right here, and you can actually see fat deposition um, in some instances on the on the back side of that cow. Okay, again, this is uh, is fairly well defined. That skeletal structure is fairly well defined in this particular animal. We're also going to want to take a look at the tail head. Okay, and you can see wrinkling of fat deposits up through that tail head versus this body condition score three cow. That tail head is, is very well defined again through that region versus those fat deposits on that fleshier cow. And the protein, um, protein deposition, this would be muscling in, in the rear quarter of that particular animal. Very flat through here. You can see there is quite a bit of muscling in that particular animal. We move to this lighter cow, this, uh, this smaller cow. Even uh, if, if she was standing with this front or this back leg forward, even, uh, even with this other leg, um, this would be a, an extremely, uh, it would be curved in. That protein deposition in that hind quarter just really isn't there. This is a, a better picture of, uh, of the lumbar vertebrae. You can see through here, you can see the well-defined area up through the spinal uh, column of that particular animal. Okay, And you can see the lumbar vertebrae through this area and, and really a, a very good picture uh, to see the definition. Definitely can't balance your, your coffee cup up there if, if you'd like, if you, you know, uh, it sets your morning coffee up there. Okay. So let's look at some examples of, of, of cows and different body condition scores. And at the end of the presentation, I'll give you an opportunity to, uh, to actually, uh, to, to, uh, for you to choose some body condition scores. Um, but look at, let's look at some different cows anyway. So this particular cow, uh, if you can tell, uh, some of these, these older pictures, it's, it's hard to find cows, again, in, in really low body condition score or high body condition score. But this would be a body condition score of, of two. Okay, again, probably so there's, there's something nutritionally wrong. Um, there's not much pasture out there. This particular animal could, could be sick, have, have a parasite issue, whatever it may be. Again, ribs uh, showing through this region, very well defined throughout the tail head, throughout the hooks and the pins and, and across the top. Okay, this is the cow that, that we were uh, evaluating earlier with the body condition score of three. Again, you can see uh, the ribs uh, are showing in, in this area here. In, in that spinal column and the vertebrae in this area are, are very well defined. Okay, not much fat deposition in that area. Again, that leg, not much protein deposition here, and that tail head is well defined with not much fat covering in this particular and with this particular animal. Okay, we're going to move up the scale a little bit. This is a, a cow with a body condition score of four. Again, a pretty decent cow in terms of, of what we would uh, first look at a body condition score. But when we really start to evaluate her, we start seeing that the, those vertebrae okay, are, are pretty well defined here. Um, you can't see as much rib okay, in that particular animal, but those vertebrae are, are very well defined. Again, that tail head, not much fat back here on the tail head, and, and not well defined in the hind quarter in terms of, of protein deposition. Okay. Again, this particular animal, when we first see her, this is a really deep, full-bodied animal. But body condition score on on this cow, we would call a four again as well. Okay. Again, not uh, we we can define some ribs. We can see some rib through here, but but not a lot. Okay. That spine uh, is is right uh, right there. We can see the. The, the, the vertebrae in that spine, again, we can't balance our, our coffee cup on that. Could use some more protein deposition in that hind quarter. And really, there's no, no fat buildup at all with this particular animal. 
Okay. In contrast to, to this animal, we would call her a body condition score of five. As you can tell, she's, she's raised a pretty big calf there, but we can still evaluate her. No indication of rib that, that I can tell from this picture. She's starting to flatten across the top. Okay, and down the side, more protein deposition here. Even if she moves that, that leg forward, we'd see a pretty straight line with some protein deposition and, and starting to see some fat back here uh, in the tail head. Getting into to some larger animals now, okay, we would probably start to call her a, a five or a six. Okay, we don't need to pinpoint body condition score too much on these cows or we're not doing research. We don't need to get down to a half or a quarter body condition score on our ranches. Okay, but again, no real sign of rib that we can tell through here. Flattening out pretty well. Okay, we can see a little indication of, of those vertebrae through here. We're starting to see fat deposition here. Okay, and quite a bit of protein deposition in, the, in, that, in, that, hind, in that hind quarter. All right. So we're starting to starting to increase on our body condition score. Okay, this particular cow uh, again a body condition score probably of a six. Probably wouldn't want to call her a five. But again, the, one of the first indicators that I see is is quite a bit of fat deposition in the back. We're starting to get pockets of fat back in the back here. Good protein deposition, straight line through that leg. No indication of rib flat across the top. So uh, so pretty solid six with this particular animal okay two really nice animals here to evaluate you can tell they're on really well managed pasture uh, have really slicked off have have a have a nice uh, shine sheen to their coat and again these would be cows that are definitely in a body condition score of six if if not a little bit more first thing that, that catches my eye is fat deposition here again on the tail head very flat across the top, no indication of rib. Good protein deposition through here, and, and overall really nice body condition score on those particular animals. All right, we're going to continue with this Hereford cow. Uh, again, another uh, older picture. She's going to move on in, into uh, probably a seven. Okay, very square, uh, very uh, blocked type animal. Okay, no indication of, of any um, spinal processes there at all. Okay, again, this cow. A uh, very well managed cow, body condition score seven, flat like a tabletop across the top, no ribs, no ribs showing at all, no processes, no vertebrae throwing, uh, showing through this area at, at all through through this area. Again, these are really well managed pastures. It looks like this pasture possibly was was probably burned, and then she's on some on some regrowth and and really enjoying life out there on that pasture. Really nice cow really well done. This would be a body condition score of eight. Again, we're not going to see a lot of these animals. This cow doesn't need to be in a body condition score of eight. Uh, we're, we're probably wasting some of our nutritional resources on her I and mean, she could be, uh, she could afford to be at a lower body condition score of, of at least a seven, if not a six. Same with this one. This is a, as a nine and we're not going to see very many cows, hardly any cows at all in a body condition score of nine. Basically a fat uh, on this particular animal everywhere you look. Okay, so so let's look at, at some of the science and why this is important to your particular operation. If you look here, a cow that has a body condition score of five, okay, has about a 12% fat covering or, or is 12% fat, okay. As you increase into body condition scores, okay, you increase one body condition score, that'll actually be about a four percent increase in fat and as you can tell as we would increase fat okay if that animal was was an eight or a nine body condition score you know we'd be getting up there to, to 25 uh, to, to almost 30 percent fat if that animal is is in a, a body condition score of eight or nine and, and we don't need a cow to, to, to be that fat okay body condition score at, in, at, at calving and pregnancy rate okay so when that cow calves and she has a body condition score of four, remember her energy requirements are going to go up because she'll be in early lactation. That's when those animals really need the most energy throughout the year is when they're producing milk for that offspring. So if she is in a body condition score of four, it's going to be very hard to increase her body condition score before she gets bred. Okay, So if she's at a four, she's going to have about a 60% conception rate or pregnancy rate. 
Okay, if we're able to increase body condition score of that particular animal to a five, we're going to increase conception rate to about 78 percent. And if we're able to increase body condition score at calving, okay, this is this is not after calving. This is at calving. If she has a body condition score of six, about a 91 percent conception rate on those particular animals. Again, condition score change after calving, all right? If we have an animal that is a five or a five and a half body condition score, okay, and that's going to take her about 89 days, okay, to see her first heat or, or to begin cycling, all right? If we actually decrease body condition score on that particular animal to a four and a half, we're going to extend the days to the first time we see her cycle to 118 days. Okay, so it's really important to, to maintain body condition score and not let that particular animal slip, uh, lose body condition score or weight, or we'll increase our, our length from calving to when that animal actually gets bred. This is also extremely important, just the passive transfer of immunoglobulin, immunoglobins um, to the calf, to the, the health of that calf, to the viability of that calf, and, uh, and it really in, impacts um, how that calf performs over the lifetime uh, of, uh, of that particular animal. As you can see, as we decrease body condition score, immunoglobins uh, just are, uh, are, are not in as high concentration in, in colostrum as we increase body condition score. We, we have more concentration to give to that calf and really have a healthier calf uh, throughout its lifetime. Again, this body condition score cow is, is in a two or a three versus a six or uh, probably more accurately a seven or eight in this particular picture. Okay, The biggest thing that needs to come out of this particular slide is if we have a cow that is in poor nutrition and, and a low body condition score, the percent alive at weaning is only 71% versus 100%, meaning we don't have the calves available Okay, to sell because that cow is in a poor body condition or poor nutritional management. Okay, that affects our checkbook and, and can be very, very expensive. All right, so let's take a few minutes and I want you uh, to look at these, the pictures of these animals coming up, determine a body condition score, and then I will give you uh, an answer for the body condition score of how we evaluated it on our end. Now, if you need more time to evaluate that animal, just pause the video and you can take as much time as you want to evaluate that particular animal before we give you the answer, okay? So again, this particular animal, this white cow, would be a body condition score, okay? Again, pause if you need more time, but would be a body condition score of five. As we scroll through here, this cream colored cow, again, pause the, pause the video to evaluate this cow more if you need would be body condition score of six. This particular animal, okay, a body condition score of a two or possibly a one. Here is a nice picture of, of, of a lot of cows uh, coming to a pickup and you can see these cows are, are healthy and a good body condition score, something you might see on your farm or ranch. Okay, pretty flat across the top. Most of these cows just on, on, on quick, quick look are in pretty good body condition score. Red white faced cow here. Okay, body condition score is seven. This nice cow here, healthy animal, fleshy animal, I'll give you that as a hint. Again, body condition score is seven. This is that animal that we saw earlier, okay, that we compared the other animal in the earlier slide sets, okay. Body condition score of three. Again, here's a, a really nice picture of a, of a really fat cow. She would be a body condition score of eight. And look at the fat deposition back here underneath that tail head right through there. 
Very fat cow, again, on very good pasture, very happy cow being on that pasture. Okay. So we want to be able to monitor our, our herd body condition score as calving season approaches. We'd really like our cows in a body condition score of a five or six. Heifers really need to be in a better body condition score of a, a six to seven, okay? And one thing that we really want to do, no matter what body condition score those cows are in, is we want to minimize weight loss and body condition loss through the breeding season in the first 90 days after calving with that particular animal, okay? Again, body condition score is highly related to, to energy stores. And keep it simple, when you evaluate these cows, okay, just give them an individual body condition score. Don't, don't, don't give them a, a half a body condition score. Don't say five and a half. Just say five to six. And if, and if you are continually seeing your animals, you see them on a daily basis, maybe get a neighbor, your spouse, your kids out there to help you evaluate those animals and, and let you know what's going on because, because uh, we're, we're blinded because we see those animals so often. So I, I'd like to thank you for spending time over this training session. If you want more information, you can go to, uh, you can Google Master Cattlemen at Oklahoma State University. There's also the Beef Cattle Manual is available uh, for you to use as a resource uh, if you would like.